my beautiful people you are welcome back to my channel if you are here for the first time kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up also click the follow button for more updates thank you very much for always stopping by god bless you i do appreciate we are still on this issue of the newly found hero in the yoruba land known as sunday adeyomo aka sunday igbo Yorubas are brought open GoFundMe a page for uh, GoFundMe page for Sunday Igbo. The appeal has nearly uh, received about 8,000 hero within five hours of giving life on the internet. Yorubas in the Supere have opened a GoFundMe page for the controversial activist Sunday Igbo. Adeyomo saying it was to aid a struggle for the Oduduwa Republic. The campaign is aimed at funding a, a fleet of vehicles and other equipment for Igbo and his followers who have been at the forefront of a renewed agitation for the actualization of Yoruba's secession from Nigeria. The campaign could add another layer of complication to the ranging national conversation about Nigerians' unity under President Muhammad Buhari's who governing style has been evidently sessional uh, and uh, decisive. Already, pro Biafra sentiments have gained whispered popularity among the Igbo ethnic uh, stock occupying the country's southeast. Igbo has been in the news lately over his campaign to drive Fulani Esmen from Oke Ogu and other parts of Yoruba land, alleging that they have been the dominant perpetrators of violent crimes in the region. In the region, sorry. In January, Mr. President asked the police to shoot Igbo on sight after he led an army of his supporters to attack homes of Fulani settlers in Oyo. Still, Igbo's campaign to fragment the country has received the attention of some Yorubas in the, in the Desipere. About 8,000 hero has been raised out of the 100,000 hero glow for global, sorry, for the purchase of buses that will help address his concerns around logistics for Mr. Igbo and his supporters. It was not immediately clear whether or not the people within the campaign have ties to Igbo or discussed the matter within them before the launching. The fundraiser, a spokesman for the activist, did not immediately return a request seeking comment from the Gazetteen Wednesday night. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nigerians have reacted to this. The first person I have here said, When you push a goat to the wall, it will bite. This administration has truly beaten more than it can chew. Exactly. You can say that again. You know, when you fail in your responsibilities, where do you, what do you expect? You can see that individuals are now standing up, you know, to defend themselves. Since the government has failed in this aspect, in fact, in all the aspects, they have failed. You get it. The, the, the president has refused to address the, these Fulani Esmen menace. I don't know when he's going to talk. I don't know if he's going to talk when the, the issues have gotten out of hand, though that is the style of governance. But is that the way to do things? How can you, how can a man you watch your family, your house is on fire? Your family is in a big problem, and under your watch, things are going down, and you are looking at them. <laughs> this pays one thing. It means that the man is not man enough to take care of the affairs of the family, and that is just what is happening here. The Fulani Hesmen have been, the killer Fulani Hesmen have been committing atrocities in this country. Nigerians have been shouting here and there. They rape, they kidnap, uh, they... They rape women, they kidnap Nigerians for ransom, and they kill. They go to, they, 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 they take their cows to, 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 to farmland deliberately. 
And when the farmer wants to say, why are you doing this? They will take off their head from your body. And nobody is saying that what they are doing is wrong. Nobody is saying that these people have to be bring to book. No. Nobody has arrested them. They carry AK-47 AK roaming the street. Then what Fulani men were known, to, uh, known with was uh, this uh, leather bag with a small, small can water and small dagger inside the bag. They are not killers. They don't look for trouble. So what triggered this? What happened? What changed? Why did they not leave carrying their water can and all that? Now they replace it with AK-47. What happened? We all know that these people, they live in the, in the forest. Who is purchasing these guns for them? This is a very big question that some persons have to answer. This government have to answer. How are they getting all these their weapons they are using to terrorize Nigerians? It's really very, very unfortunate that we are experiencing this. The people we hoped for, the people, you know, that we voted in there, that supposed to protect the lives and the properties of the masses, have backed us. And they are now afraid to speak because they don't want to offend their principal. They don't want to be called a bad boy. They don't want to be called the black, the black sheep of the family. And everything is going down every day by day. You can't even travel freely on land because of fear of being kidnapped by Boko Haram or Fulani Airsmen. How did we even get to this? So hello guys, I'm going to drop it here for now. Let's hear from you. This is a very good move from the Yorubas, you know. Thank you very much for always stopping by. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you are here for the first time. Thank you very much once again. I do appreciate. Bye for now.